my name's Craig, Craig A. Taylor. I am a digital project product manager. I do a lot of consultancy and training as well. Started back in 1998. My first job in digital was training people how to use Windows 98. I think industry-wise, the projects that I've worked on, pretty broad. I've worked in retail, I've worked in construction, telecoms. Digital obviously affects now every sector. Over the last few years, I've worked in banking, i worked at co-op. When it comes to fixing problems, I mean, for a while when I started to work out why projects were failing, I started to realise that it's the psychology behind the planning, it's the psychology behind the decision making. And that's why I'm, my interest in cognitive biases and psychology and how they affect projects. But for a long time, I was coming in and fixing projects that had gone wrong. People will tell you about all sorts of clever project management methodologies, but being persistent is one of them. I tend to naturally get people who want me to kind of mentor them because I've been doing this for a long time and that training background helps with that. So I think the supportive bit is really important for me. I feel like when, when I've been somewhere, I need to have kind of empowered the people I've been working with to a certain extent. Over the last three years, I really lost touch with people in Manchester and networking, seeing people face to face. So when I met Sam, and we have known each other on and off for a while from his, his, his previous recruitment roles, I just like the idea of working with a group of like-minded people, think like I do, I've got the same amount of experience, because when I go into roles, invariably you get asked, do you know this person, do you know that person, do you know anybody that, that has these skills? So in a way, building that relationship now with the collective, I'm learning who the, the, the good people are that I, can, I feel I can work with. And it's always good to learn something and, and, and just have experiences like this where we come out, we have a, we have a beer or three and we have a chat and we, 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 we sound off and that, that's really important. I think Sam and I have clicked. We, we, we are now going to uh, co-organise Digital Thursday, which is our digital networking event. Um, already the collective has started to open doors for me, which is great. I like his kind of attitude. I think we've got a lot of similarities both in work and out of work in the way we, we, we approach life. So we just feel like there's a, a kindred spirit there and I'm, I'm looking forward to um, seeing where it goes. I think what I offer as a consultant is 23 years worth of experience. I've run my own agency, I've worked agency side, I've worked client side, I've worked on an awful lot of sectors. I've seen an awful lot, you know, the first dot-com bubble, the 2008 financial crisis, you know, I've seen the birth of Google, Facebook, the iPhone. So I know what works, I know what doesn't work, and I think what I can bring is a holistic view of the technology, the people, and the business, and how they are going to work together. But for me, it's, it's knowing what will work and just importantly, what isn't going to work. And I can usually spot those things quite early on. I still feel I'm very much customer focused. I have done some back-end coding a long time ago, but it was told as soon as I employed people, I wasn't a great coder. So I was always the front-end guy. I was always the customer experience guy. Um, I'm always the customer advocate. So I'll always come at it from what works for the customer. The technology is a facilitator, but that's not the reason why we're doing it. So I think what I can bring is that, that creativity. I'm a product guy as well, so I'm, I'm, I'm great at developing products and knowing what will work and what doesn't work. I believe if we look after the customer, the customer experience is great, the rest of it will naturally come together.